Good morning, everyone. My name is Josh, and I want to start off by welcoming everyone to church this morning. Thank you for spending a part of your weekend with us. If it's your first time here, we know it's not always easy to visit a new church, so to make it a little easier for you, here is some helpful info for your time here at Living Word. For you parents who have kids from birth through sixth grade, we have ministries available for them. Classroom ages and locations are posted in the hallways if you haven't already checked your kids into their classes. Once service is over, classroom checkout begins immediately. For you moms who are nursing or just have a fussy kiddo, we have a quiet room available upstairs overlooking the auditorium where you can take your little one and still catch the service. Now, enough about your kids, let's talk about you. We'd really like to get to know you, so if you haven't already done so, please fill out a Connect card from the seat back in front of you and drop it in the basket on the ledge of the control booth after service. And we hope you join us again next week. We'd like to invite you to come early for coffee and donuts in the Fellowship Hall starting at 9 a.m. And now before we move on with the rest of service, we want to take a few minutes to tell you about some upcoming things for you and your family. Club Armadillo is beginning its 2015 season this April. That means that it's time to start building up our ministry team. We have several different positions available that are all set up on a one Saturday per month rotation. If you'd like to join the team or if you just want to know more about Club Armadillo, Pastor Kurt and Tanya are having a quick informational meeting in the front of the auditorium after service to answer any questions and to start building up the team. This year, Living Word is in charge of providing and serving lunch for the Community Lenten Lunch Service on Wednesday, April 1st. Here's how you can help out. We need to supply 10 to 12 salads and 10 to 12 desserts that feed 15 people each. We also need 8 to 10 people who can help serve the meal. Salads and desserts can be taken to Bethany Lutheran Church sometime before 11 o'clock that day, and servers should be there no later than 1045 to get everything set up for the 1120 meal. So if you can help in either or both of these capacities, please sign up in the foyer after service today. Kay Nelson and her sister are once again holding a cinnamon roll fundraiser benefiting Pastor Barb to help with medical expenses. This time around, the cinnamon rolls will be frozen raw so you can take and bake. They will be available in two waves. If you order before March 20th, your order will be ready for pickup on Saturday the 28th. If you order after the 20th, your order will be ready for pickup Thursday, April 2nd. Final deadline for any order is March 27th. So if you missed the last round of these delightful treats, or if you just want to sink your teeth into some more, Kay Nelson has the details and is taking orders in the foyer after service today. We would like to wish very happy birthdays to Courtney Ensley and Jake Johnson, both of whom are celebrating their birthdays this week. Happy birthday, guys. And here's the next three weeks. Don't forget to come back to the church tonight at 7 p.m. for our second Sunday worship service. And this Wednesday, March 11th, Living Word will be in charge of the service portion of the Community Lenten Lunch Service. And March 22nd, we will be having a baby dedication service. So if you have a baby or child that you would like dedicated to the Lord, call the church office sometime this week. Did you miss something we said? Well, don't worry, it's in the bulletin. So be sure to check your bulletin for more information on these and other announcements.